viewers could it be the final nail in the arps coffin that's the question that is being asked today increasingly after the delhi lieutenant governor mr saxena has recommended an nia probe into what he suspects now listen very carefully viewers the lg suspects an alleged link between kejriwal the chief minister of delhi the aam aadmi party and a banned khalistan terror group called the sikhs for justice viewers this represents a massive escalation in the face of between the center and the kejriwal government the lieutenant government claims that he is acting on the basis of a complaint he received that alleged that kejriwal's aap had received 16 million dollars from sikhs for justice the organization that many people believe is headed by pannun who is of course a known india beta now ni probe into this allegation viewers spells huge consequences for the aam aadmi party remember that mr kejriwal is already in jail he's in tihar jail he's currently incarcerated there why because he is suspected of having played a central role in the alleged delhi excise policy scam now viewers the complainant who had written a letter to the delhi lieutenant governor claims that the aap and mr kejriwal received this money from this banned terror khalistani organization called sikhs for justice to champion the release of jailed and convicted khalistan terrorist devinder pal bhullar remember viewers he was earlier on death row and then his sentence was commuted by the supreme court he was jailed for carrying out a blast in 1993 and subsequently convicted of the crime that blast took place in the union capital that is delhi viewers several people died in that blast it was supposed to have targeted a congress leader called mr bitta apparently the complainant in his letter to the lieutenant governor has adduced copious electronic evidence to support his claims which need to be investigated delhi lg vk saxena who has sought this ni pro has gone into details in a letter that he has written to the chief of the nia where he has talked about the background to this case including a clandestine meeting in 2014 with the representatives of this ban terror organization this particular meeting is alleged to have taken place in new york a few years ago in fact in 2014 viewers and this particular meeting was attested to by a aam aadmi party whistle blower so viewers there are all these facts and factors that need to be taken into consideration incidentally panun who is the boss of this band terror organization had released a video a few months ago claiming that the sikhs for justice had paid 16 million dollars to the aam aadmi party in specific mr kejriwal to champion the release of mr bhullar and for other activities sympathetic to the cause of khalistan Now this as I told you viewers represents a dramatic escalation in this standoff which has been a long running one between the AAP and the NDA The AAP has already come out and slammed the LG calling him an agent of the center saying that we don't expect much more we don't expect ethical action from the lieutenant governor he's out to sink us he's out to get the AAP banned he is acting at the behest of the nda government viewers without ado let's open this up because this is a serious story you will see images of the letter that has been written to the ni by the lg to go into all of this but let's open this up let's get a sense really of where this story stands 
as far as all the claims and counterclaims that have now suddenly appeared on the scene. I want to first begin with Dr. Anand Ranganathan. Dr. Ranganathan, I know that several other people, including Mr. Kumar Vishwas, had once come out. Now, we all know who Kumar Vishwas was. He was a very close confidant of Mr. Kejriwal. He talked about these particular ties to Khalistani organizations. In an other assembly election campaign, you might recall Dr. Ranganathan several years ago, not the last one, but the one prior to that, there were also claims that there were links, funding links, political funding links between the, Mr. Kejriwal and certain sympathizers of the Khalistani cause. But such a specific link that has appeared now, A, do you find this a little coincidental? The elections are upon us, the Delhi election in just a month from now. Or do you believe this is long overdue, that this investigation should have taken place? Good evening, Rahul, and good evening to my fellow panelists. This investigation is not only long overdue, it should have commenced at least more than a year ago, and it should have been finished at least six months ago, much before the elections, because I know, and you're right, people are going to question the timing of it. But when it comes to national security, it is shameful for anyone to question the timing. Now, I want to say two, uh, two things out here, and both are very important. Rahul, when it comes to Aam Aadmi Party, please take it from me. Do not quote what the BJP is accusing Aam Aadmi Party of. Because unnecessarily, people will get embroiled into the whole thing that Modi has taken it about himself, that he is a coward and a psychopath and is going after Kejriwal. Simply quote the Congress. Just quote the Congress on it. Now, in the liquor scam, it was the Congress that initially accused Aam Aadmi Party and Kejriwal of being in cahoots and taking the money. Later on, whatever the High Court said, the Congress said, we stand vindicated. In the case of this issue, national security, forget about the LG, forget about the BJP or whatever the BJP, just consider what the Congress, especially in Punjab, as well as the, as the Central Committee of Congress has been saying that Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party have traditionally been soft on terror and particularly soft on Khalistani terror. Remember how it took a month to nab Amrit Pal Singh? Who was the one who principally accused the Aam Aadmi Party of this? It was the Congress. And I'm afraid that things aren't happening in isolation, Rahul. What is happening in Punjab is scary. And I, I have to say, I compliment the Congress for taking up this more than the BJP. Rahul, I am a child of the 80s. And I remember how for all practical purposes, we thought then that we had lost Punjab forever until KPS Gill came along. Sadly, we don't have KPS Gills anymore. There is no doubt that the Punjab state government is proving itself to be wholly inept at handling the law and order in the border state. If it isn't the daily drone attacks, the drug mafia murders, the blasphemy killings, it is police stations being run over by Khalistani separatists and anarchists to get alleged kidnappers released and not able to nab a Khalistani for a month. And when you do nab him, he's inside a Gurdwara. The situation is exacerbated by lackadaisical coordination deliberate between the state and central forces. To top it all, the ISI is working tirelessly to create a compact between the Khalistani, Kashmiri and Sikh diaspora. Now I ask you, forget about the BJP as I said, please ask the Congress sympathizers and the spokesperson, are you not or have you not accused Arvind Kejriwal and Aadma Aadmi Party of being in cahoots and being soft on Khalistani error? Simple question, yes or no? So let me just ask you, uh, Jaisin Punawala, taking off from where Dr. Ranganathan has finished, because this is important. First of all, a very basic question, yes or no question. And after that, I'll build on the argument. Do you believe that Captain Amrinder Singh is a true patriot, that he has the interests of uh, India first and foremost? All politicians do. All chief ministers. I'm talking about those. Captain Amrinder Singh in specific. Yes, he does. Okay. Now that you've established this, I want to draw your attention to statements made by Captain Amrinder Singh himself, where he believes that the AAP government has always given a long rope to agitators who are supportive of the Khalistan movement. He voiced this much before he joined the BJP. He voiced this concern before he became an independent member once he left the Congress and before joining the BJP and he floated his own political party. And most importantly, sir, 
There are several others in the Congress ranks, as Dr. Ranganathan has pointed out, who make the same claim. Why do you think they make this claim? So I would like non-interruption so I can, my point can come across very clearly. So I want you to understand very, very clearly, Rahul. There are two aspects to this. Mm -hmm. Number one, nobody in Punjab, nobody, make no mistake, nobody in Punjab needs the BJP or any other political party to teach them patriotism or say that anyone in Punjab is raising a demand for Khalistan. If anybody's bodies come wrapped in the tricolor, it is our Sikh and our Punjabi fellow citizens. So we don't need any lectures from anybody, either on this panel or from any political party. That's point number one. Point number two, I am angry, I am astounded, I am, I am very, very irritated that tomorrow when I expected Arvind Kejriwal to get bail and he should get bail, this new thing comes up at a time when the code of conduct is on and the elections are on. You can have differences with Arvind Kejriwal and I've been very critical of Arvind Kejriwal on a lot of issues. But to say Arvind Kejriwal is encouraging Khalistani elements in the breakup of India is not just an insult to our Punjabi fellow citizens, it is an insult to our democracy. Here is an elected chief minister, a two-time, three-time elected chief minister of Delhi. We are calling him now a terrorist sympathizer. What laws have we fallen to? The LG, shameless, shameless. The Supreme Court had given powers to the elected government. By the majority, brute majority, they changed the Supreme Court judgment. Sitting there, he now asked the NIA to investigate a sitting chief minister. And I dare say on your TV show, courts are going to remain mute spectators as a chief minister is paraded as a terrorist sympathizer. And we, all of us sitting here, are now going to raise aspersions, aspirations or aspersions on our fellow citizens in Punjab, you saying there are Khalistani sympathizers there. What answer, rubbish. But you have an answer. What rubbish. Okay, Tehseen Punawala, I know this. You, you, this makes my blood boil. One minute, you are agitated by this. 2016, Rahul. 2016. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, I, I, can't, I, I can't see that. What, what are you pointing out, doctor? This is 2016. Captain Amrinder have proof of Khalistanis funding up. Yeah. 2016. So, Tessin, are you I'll disgusted? Did you did yeah, you express yeah, your disgust that. to Captain? Did you express your dis disgust to Captain Amrinder yes. and Rahul Gandhi in 2016? Now did you, you do that? Now, if you if, if you don't interrupt me, I'll say. If he had evidence as Chief Minister of Punjab, he should have got them acted. He didn't. Maybe he's he was under BJP. pressure. He's not. One second. Maybe he's he was to, under no, 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 pressure. No, 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 don't interrupt How me. How do we know? No, 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 don't interrupt me. One second. Maybe he was under pressure. Oh, hold on. So, so that shows what kind of a patriot he is. No, no. One what second. do you mean? Come on. Allow me. You, wow. you have to allow me to finish. If he had evidence in 2016 and he was a sitting chief minister. He has defended us. Either you talk, then Rahul talks. Allow me to talk. You can't make an allegation and hit and run. Allow me to talk. You made an allegation. That captain said this in 2016. If captain as chief minister had evidence... It is his duty, he was constitutionally bound, irrespective of what pressure he had, to act against Arvind Kejriwal. If he has not done that, when he went to his friends in the BJP, it was his duty to act then. If they haven't acted, come when the code of conduct is on, when Delhi is going to the polls on the 25th of May, you now come up with this new drama at a time when he's going to get bail tomorrow? Okay, I am oh, angry. Second. First of all, let's separate board. the two issues. How? He bought in the liquor uh, scam. No, 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 hang on, hang on. Just one second, sir. You are talking about how a person is being charged with such a serious offence or allegation when the elections are on. Now, let me also tell you, sir, that in Bengal, there is a police force that is doing the rounds of the Raj Bhavan there because they accuse the governor of actually having carried out certain actions. These are the allegations. There you have no problem. There, a constitutional post holder can be jailed, can be prosecuted, even though, of course, we know that uh, governors enjoy immunity. But still, there you will second an investigation, the prosecution of, you will not talk about the, one second, the poll code being in place or not being in place. But here, you're getting touchy. And, and listen, it's not as if you are in any way... Uh, losing any skin off your nose. You are a Congress sympathizer and this is what the Congress has been saying. So, is the Congress lying? Has it been lying all these years? Again. Was it cooking up stories this, against Mr. Kejwa shamelessly this, in your this, words? This business of saying that Khalistan elements in Punjab must stop. Seriously must stop. Nobody's bodies come in a tricolor wrap more than our Punjabi fellow citizens. What rubbish is Khalistan? Where is this Khalistan demand? It happens in Canada, Australia. Nothing happens in India, number one. Okay. Number two. Are you saying you... that that individual who is languishing in an Assamese jail today yeah. doesn't exist? Of that the case against him is... 
fake of course he then exists. what what is that then so I he mean, is in jail right no he where is, do you where, know how much time it took to arrest this one individual this one individual when he was in dubai who was the one who was helping who was in touch with who, how was he in how was he involved in the farmers protest who funded it let all of that come out where is kejriwal got to do with him is kejriwal's allegations to do with that gentleman who is in jail surely there you should cannot, be an ni investigation or is that your case so that it should minister, not be against a sitting chief minister okay. going to get bail okay. is this what well, you've come down to i don't know and i mean, are sitting, sitting chief minister above are sitting chief minister above let me tell you viewers it's the so same congress logic. party one no, no, second, no, one second. One this second. is the same one congress party this, logic, this is the same congress party now listen to me no, no, viewers no i i'm i'm, I'm now tired of this i'm no i'm tired of this this is the same congress party that sold that sold their own prime minister who was assassinated on the back of a conspiracy by the ltte and certain members of a political party in the state of tamil nadu they shut that file and today sir they are fighting elections with that political party you are the answer to that just one there line. was a committee that was set up by the congress government back then to investigate how is it that the ltte snuck into this country and blew up a prime minister out of his shoes a dossier this thick exists the connections between that political party and certain ltt groups that conducted that dastardly act and today that same congress party is lining up is lining up viewers allow me to answer that to champion the release allow of rajiv gandhi's killers at the behest of a political party they share power with this is the congress party allow me to answer that please allow me to answer that that same political party that you allege about was the bjp in alliance with them or no Are you sure I'm no, talking no, no, about you no, no, no. forget the BJP no, forget the BJP, BJP you are BJP. constantly no, saying no, the no, BJP no, no. allow allow okay. me allow BJP me allow me now no, am I am I listen I am I am a journalist who has called out listen to me I am a journalist who has called out the BJP of having an alliance so with the PDP so call them out. I, I am I am not now, I am not the person now, sitting here but that doesn't make it right two wrongs don't make a right does it you to say NIA investigation against BJP leaders who allowed ISI to Patan court will you say it Will the LG write it? I have no problem. Let them why? write it. So that I mean, won't happen. If there is a case, why should, don't you move the ISI case? Why don't you move the? I think. Should I say one second? Uh, one second. Doctor Raman is there with us. Let me bring him in. Doctor Raman, look. I don't know. Objectively looking at this issue, the timing seems a little awry to all of us. That one can sort of all agree to disagree on, or agree to agree on, for once. That the timing looks suspect. Tomorrow or day after, there is going to be a court hearing. there is going to be a bail hearing on this liquor gate and now comes the shadow of a terror connection so you obviously will ask the question the timing and i think dr ranganathan was very clear he said this should have happened a year back and it should have been wrapped up 6 months ago so we knew where things stand so i think all of us agree on this issue but dr raman beyond that many people have come out and suggested that there is a link between the aap and there are people from within the aap in fact uh who have made this can we blithely ignore this just because the elections are on uh rahul i think this is a very serious matter hmm. which needs to be probed uh, in in complete detail i think that this is this represents a colossal failure if it is true of the intelligence gathering network of the country in fact i would hold the central government squarely responsible if they have allowed a man who has had received 16 million dollars allegedly from pro khalistani outfits over a period of 8 uh, years and who has been addressing pro khalistani elements in the us rahul i mean who is actually responsible for this failure i mean i think this is a very serious question which needs to be asked and there needs to be a detailed probe into the intelligence agencies whether they were aware and if they were not aware it reflects extraordinarily poorly on the central government more than anything else if there is even an iota or even 0.01% truth in these allegations the blame should squarely go imagine 16 million dollars it is not some something which was carried in a sack of uh, cash this must have been electronic tra transactions which came in nobody knew you had to wait for somebody to write a complaint letter and give it along with video evidence to file a, to ask for an nia investigation is this some kind of a joke what are the intelligence agencies doing rahul look everyone knows tomorrow is the matter is coming up in court he is likely to get bail now something else has to be thrown against him and here it comes but tell me honestly 16 million dollars have been given to him over 8 years and nobody in the in, in the uh, 
DRI knew anything about it. Nobody knew that this man was hobnobbing with the Khalistani El Pro, allegedly hobnobbing with pro Khalistani elements until three days, three weeks before an election. I mean, do you think people are fools, Rahul? I mean, who will even believe this? If anything, if there is truth in this charge, it indicts the union, the central government and its agencies far more than it indicts Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. Okay. Let me bring in Dr. Birendra Chaudhary. Dr. Chaudhary, again, the timing, many people are going to look at this, narrow their brows and say something is wrong here. This doesn't ring right. Apart from the timing issue, what do you make of this letter that the LG has written? Uh, Namaskar. First of all, I don't want to keep this from this, as the rest of the panel are saying. LG has given a recommendation for the search. It has not been heard. यदि ऐसा होता तो शराब घोटाले में अरविंद केजरीवाल तिहाड़ जेल में है और मामला कोर्ट में है यदि मामला ने कोर्ट ने उनको मुक्त कर दिया होता बेल दिया दे दिया होता तो बात समझ में आती लेकिन मामला जारी है कोर्ट में सुप्रीम कोर्ट में दूसरी बात यदि एनआईए ने जांच करना है तो यह जांच की प्रक्रिया के लिए रिकमेंडेशन है मैं समझता हूं कि इसमें सजा नहीं सुनाई जा रही है नंबर दो चुनाव का समय है वो तो ऑब्वियस है चुनाव है 25 मई को दिल्ली में है वो दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं पंजाब में एक जून को है पंजाब में उनकी सरकार है तो यदि भाई आपकी जांच हो रही है और उसको आप ये कह के टाल जाएंगे कि चुनाव है और मुझे उससे हटाया के रखा जा रहा है तो यह तो इसमें कोई दम नहीं लग रहा है जहां तक एक बात और मेरे जहन में आती है कि यदि हमें नहीं पता जांच में क्या आएगा नहीं आएगा यह तो बाद में पता चलेगा लेकिन यदि इसी तरह की स्थिति बनती रही संभावना बन सकती है दिल्ली सरकार को डिसमिस करने की संभावना बन सकती है यह मेरा मानना है क्योंकि एक के बाद एक दूसरा मामला सामने दिखाई दे रहा है दिस एन इंटरेस्टिंग एलिमेंट दैट हेज बीन एडेड डॉक्टर रंगनाथन आई आई वॉन्ट यू टू पे अटेंशन टू दिस दिस इज टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया कॉपी from February 18th, 2022. So we are now going back two years, just under two years, a little over two years actually. Taken serious note, colon, Amit Shah replies to Channi on allegations of AAP's SFJ links. This is very specific now. So A, the Chief Minister of the State of Punjab at that time, Mr. Uh, Charanjit uh, Channi, had written to Amit Shah regarding serious allegations. So this proves that the Congress has on record written to the Union Home Minister who says, taken serious note. Taken serious note. And, and what was this about? So here it was. Channi drew Shah's attention to a letter from the legal advisor from the ban outfit Seeks for Justice. It has been mentioned in the letter that the SFJ has given support to AAP in the elections to the State Assembly in 2017. And similarly, in these elections too, the SFJ has exhorted the electorate to vote for Aam Admi Party. Channi wrote to Shah. And here is the copy of the letter. It's very clear. Now, what explains this sort of lassitude, inaction, call it what you want to? Channi writes, they don't investigate at the state level. The ball is sort of put in the center's court. And there, God alone knows what happens. It's taken note, but nothing comes out of it. What do you think is the issue? Yes, as I said, Rahul, uh, and I myself began with telling you, please don't look at BJP when it accuses AAP of being soft on Khalistani terrorists and terror. Just look at the statements and the actions of Congress. Now, you asked a pointed question. I'll tell you, uh, the Congress doesn't just suffer schizophrenia, it enjoys it. This is exactly what is happening at the national level vis-a-vis -vis the state level. At every state, in every state, the Congress is accusing its uh, India Alliance partners of either killing democracy in Bengal or being corrupt in Kerala or fomenting terror in Punjab or uh, having corruption in Jharkhand. Every state. But somehow, miraculously, they believe, the Indians will believe that when they come together at the national level, everything is going to be hunky-dory. That's why I said, please look at, and Tehseen, I'm sorry, was very unconvincing when he says, well, Captain Amrinder, when he, he was in Congress, he should have submitted the proof if he said, Captain Amrinder was actually very direct when he said that four Canadian Sikh ministers were in cahoots 
एंड सॉफ्ट ऑन खालिस्तानी टेरर एंड दे आर दंस हु आर इन काउट विद आम आदमी पार्टी ही वॉज एज डायरेक्ट एज द कांग्रेस मिस्टर छन्नी सो द कांग्रेस हैज ट्रेडिशनली been supplying not i don't know about evidence mm-hmm. because that is in the realms of uh, you know things that us common citizens don't know but it's been very vocal about it it's not but i have to, to then ask uh, tehsin punal look yeah. your party has suddenly gone into denial yeah. over the last 48 hours about the 2611 attack specifically on one individual hemant karkare yeah. i think we all know he was the ats chief on that fateful night when kasab and his crew landed and sprayed mumbai with bullets and shot up a large number of people including mr yeah your friend as yeah. as you you profess that he was a friend of very, yours very mr friend, yeah. mr karkare dear friend your party now says that was done by the rss your party claims that mr kejriwal and the sfj had links did nothing on their own there is a state cid there are many institutions that the uh state level investigative agencies have many instrumentalities that could have gone into all of this of course the ball was passed to the center god alone knows which you know basket it is languishing in that is a different story altogether but i want to ask you i mean what track record can the congress have i mean dr ranganathan says that look i mean you know the congress but i'm sorry you seem to be apologists for everybody no no Let's hmm. let's uh, bifurcate issues. They're two separate issues. No, I don't want to. They're actually it. one in the same. No, they're not actually one in the same. Under your nose, a person was getting away with all sorts of links. Right. Now, when those links, exp- you know, erupt in okay. this way, unseemly, ungainly, which you whatever you want to, to call it, yeah, of course. Your you wrong, then sorry. have a then you have a problem. No, there's no. The fact of the matter is, if the Congress Chief Minister of Punjab did bring this up. Why didn't he act? He vaguely says four ministers of Trudeau government are involved in Khalistani activities are encouraging it. Guess who was uh, who was inviting them? Who was cuckooing with them? Who was having hosting banquets with them? The present union government. Why were they doing that? Until Trudeau did not put up those cre- as in Trudeau's words credible allegations on the Nijar case. Who was wooing Trudeau? But you know you're not answering no, no, please, the question. Please, My question is, me. what you is wrong? The same respect Anand gets. I am a guest on your show. I cannot be interrupted. So the union government was cuckooing with Trudeau. Now suddenly they are okay. I If Chani has written this letter to Amit Shah ji, mm-hmm. was Amit Shah ji snoozing? I am the one who brought it up. Exactly. Yeah. So was he snoozing? I am going to ask you a question. So now, yeah. now, now, tomorrow when Kejriwal ji will most likely get bail. Suddenly the LG makes up. Today evening. Arey, bhai, you are not no, answering no, no, a simple question. I think Dr. Chaudhary How raised that question. Can I ask you a simple question? You are not answering the question. Let me ask. What is something. wrong in having let a probe? Doot ka doot, pani ka pani. Let me say. ask you a question. Let me yes. ask you a counter question. Hmm. This government is going to leave, uh, is going to not be in union in the union on post the fourth of June, June. If they are, do the probe after that. Why are they at the time of going setting up these probes for those who might come in government? Okay. Well, why are they doing that? Well, let me that tell you. That is the question. Why did they go when they were in government? Arvind Kejriwal, when this who matter, who controls IT? Okay, when this who matter, controls wrong? Okay, when when Chhani had raised this issue with Amit Shah, this is what Arvind Kejriwal had tweeted. Now, unfortunately, uh, as of now, he can't tweet, so we can't get his specific reaction because he's in jail. But let me tell you, ये सारे भ्रष्टाचारी मुझे आतंकवादी बोल रहे हैं. All these corrupt people are calling me a आतंकवादी या टेररिस्ट मैं दुनिया का पहला आतंकवादी हूं जो लोगों के लिए स्कूल बनवाता है अस्पताल बनवाता है बिजली ठीक करता है दुनिया में मैं पहला स्वीट आतंकवादी हूं बेसिकली ही सेम आई एम वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट टेररिस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड दैट मेक स्कूल्स फॉर चिल्ड्रन हॉस्पिटल्स एज वेल एज आई गिव पीपल इलेक्ट्रिसिटी and therefore i am the sweet terrorist the first the world's first sweet terrorist the guy who actually does good stuff this is what he had said back then we're still awaiting of course uh, his response to all of these developments now his party has come out and slammed the lg for being an agent of the center because we leave it at 